So who on the beef? Feel like Wakato, why you be king of the beast? When nobody starts seeing me, tell me who on the heat? If you're bounty in the building, you do not compete. I've been top of my class, you can bet them with me. I've been in my opposition, I beat them with ease. And they said the power king better change up your dreams. Cause my house, you go, I can live a weekend in ease. I already told you. Yo, what's up guys, it's OP Mamba So for today's video, we're gonna be doing top 5 uh, e Top 5 units for each color So that's like red top 5, blue top 5, green top 5 But I'm not gonna be doing like a full on, you know, like detail like why I mean, I'm gonna give like some, you know, of course I'm gonna talk about a little bit But I'm not gonna go like full in depth Oh, freaking Nori's going crazy I'm not gonna go into like full details and stuff but yeah let me know uh in the comments if you are gonna agree with this or not and yeah and let's get started with the video all right for my number one i have ex akainu as the best red all right why i think ex akainu is the best red because obviously he's the new newest ex um and his incinerate is crazy his skill too this one puts him in a magma state magma state which is also insane his normals are also it has good amount of range and it's crazy the incinerate is really insane on him still and uh skill one is also very good and uh what's it called the dodge like when he first came out bro the dodge was really annoying but now we have more characters that can counter the dodge so it's not really that annoying but the incinerate is still there so overall he's still op so that was my number one for, for red. my number two in red all right uh i have onigashima kid why i have onigashima kid in number two is obviously i think we all know why but he's basically like a secret ex bro like this man's his tankiness his heels on knockback which is really uh broken because you know when you're a defender you always get knocked back and stuff and his skill too man this skill too is pure fucking fucking so annoying man it's so annoying like you can't do anything he gets staggered and all that and he does damage also the skill one is great you knock back opponents um like overall bro he's like secret ex bro i don't, i never think he's gonna fall off i mean he is gonna fall off at some times but it's going to be a minute basically and yeah he's on my number two overall he's the he's he's really goaded like if you have a kid you're set you're low-key set all right for my number three on a uh, red uh i have onigashima law why i have law is uh he's probably one of the best you know reds attacker beside akainu that's not a x his anti-heal is you know really uh clutch i mean you need an anti-heal you know of course even on kid you know on defenders is really great this skill right here skill to the room is really annoying once you're on it like he can you know kill you instantly um so like you can combo these skills also you can go uh skill two no I, i'm not sure because you know i don't have law so i'm not a law player player but i think it's like skill one then skill two i'm not sure though maybe it's skill two then one uh but yeah the room is really annoying anti-heal is crazy his uh attack stat is also crazy overall he's just great he's great so that that was my number three right, for guys. Red. so for my number four on the red i have god usap aka the rat all right this man's back in the day you know when roger was crazy and all that he was the roger stopper basically all right he every every green character um what's it called nightmare is this usap because like he has that trait where he does uh extra damage to uh greens uh yeah so like that's really insane so if you're green you know main you know watch out for usap but skill skill wise skill 2 is really glitchy and like you if you're not even near the skill it, you, it still hits you so it's you know it's whatever but skill one is also good it knocks you back uh skill one oh skill two also stuns you also i forgot about that so overall he's really great he's a great runner oh he has freaking like two lives or three i, I think it's three lives so he's overall he's really annoying like every usap characters are really annoying so that was my number four for red 
overall great character great runner he's a he's like an attacker runner kind of he can do everything he can defend he can run he can attack overall a great rat all right so for, for my fifth and final red characters right uh i have uh that daddy blackbeard all right so every people might get tri triggered on this but you don't need no reasons but blackbeard is the best you know he's the best of the best man simple reason look at this man look at this sexy walk bro you tell me this is not this this does not deserve a top five are you cracked like, look at this bro look at this man he's skills i mean do not sleep on blackbeard because bro i mean he has fallen down a lot but he still does crazy because skill two the sucky sucky skill you know pause the suck sucky skill still goes crazy skill one is okay you know if you can pull him and the uh, trait you know the most valuable trait on him when he does extra damage to uh devil fruit eaters so that's really nice but he has fallen down you know of course that comes with time also so but overall he deserves to be in top five you know just because he's look at him look at that shit man look at the sexy walk and all that sexy voice but yeah that was my top five reds all right all right so we're going to be starting the top five blues okay so for number one i have a young dofio oh, this man's what can i say bro this man's a menace to freaking reds bro ex a kainu he it's nothing to him uh kid he can mess up kid also like uh you know obviously i have dofi max so i know like he can mess up kids also he can mess up law so like yeah he, he's crazy against reds and green is also crazy but you gotta watch out for someone like some of the greens but let's talk about dofi this man's is basically he's almost like a ex also but you know if he had like heals on like a little bit more heals on normals bro that man would be broken so skill one uh no no let's talk about skill two first skill two uh what's it called uh spider web god threat so this one is nuts bro this is basically a shield right like mace but a shield comes out and it does it does have an attack also it does attack you also um the cooldown is really short 15 seconds that's like nothing skill one parasite is very it's a long range attack right but if it, so obviously if somebody's coming close to you, it's not gonna work that great so long range attack uh it's really freaking nice and the main thing about young Dofi is crit right when he crits you get uh i mean you don't get hp but you can run this set like this one or the cp0 one so when you crit, you recover hp like see this sandy one when you create recover hp by three percent like if you run this with dofi is going to be a menace bro trust me just trust so overall that's my number one for blues because young young dofi is just a menace bro so every single reds so yeah let's move on to number two all right for my number two i have miss golden week the step up aka golden god all right so see oh my god bro, this is the best step up ever but bro she is pure toxic if you have her skill two, you know the skill two metal set then if you have warlord support warlord support bro she's gonna be insane bro she's i don't even have that and she's pretty insane like i don't have skill two and warlord support but she's still insane bro maybe it's just me but uh the skill two. i mean what do i need to tell about this she becomes uh, temporarily invisible all right so you can't do shit to her basically so you're just gonna watch her take the flag in front of your face so cooldown is 35 seconds not you know it's not that bad for a fucking invincible skill not bad skill one uh color trap so this one like you can't do anything if you get hit by this you 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 can't do anything you can't get the uh, treasure i think you can't get the treasure i'm not sure though but i know you can't attack all right so basically you're just sealed say like you get hit by skill one then you see so use the skill two you're basically done bro you can't do anything and she's probably the best one of the top five runners in my opinion because like she has every single thing bro for a runner she has everything so yeah that's my number two for blues yeah traits are real good too you know boost capture speed that's really good for a runner and all that but overall this is my number two for blues all right for my number three i have general frankie all right this man's is probably one of yeah he's 
top five defender. I'm pretty sure he's top five defender, but just talking about blues, right? He's gonna be my number three because he's he's a metal blue defender. Like he's really metal, and for this man's right, everyone freaking like shit. Like he was like uh, when he came out, everyone was like, ah, oh, he's mid, it's whatever. He's cool, but he's mid. But bro, don't sleep on Frankie, bro. This man's a beast. Skill one is really nice. He gains HP on this also after he lands the skill. Uh, skill two, general watcher step. It's really nice. Uh, that's this one is knocked back for this one knocks you back. So it's really nice. Like against Roger, say like Roger's using skill two, you can use this skill and you can knock him back. It's really nice. He's tanky also. Don't forget that. In my opinion, I'll say General Frankie is probably one of the best defender that you can use to push like to get treasure and stuff and his one two one two basics are really goaded also makes you go faster so overall he's very nice and also tanky skills are nice you know he looks nice also so he's gonna be my number three for blues all right for my number four i'm gonna have young Rayleigh. all right so he's the newest uh, bounty fest uh he is really smooth right he's really smooth his perfect dodge is really nice this time his perfect dodge actually actually attacks like knocks back the opponent so it's nice uh skill wise skill one is skill one is freaking goaded bro he that skill one's basically a teleport a teleportation jitsu right skill two is very nice it has a very long range right see a long range area attack so it's really freaking goaded uh as a runner like i feel like he's a hybrid bro he's like a runner and a uh, runner and an attacker like in my opinion right like he can do both but remember he is a runner so he doesn't have that crazy uh damage but yeah perfect dodge is also very nice you knock him back on i think in skill one he gets hp and per on perfect dodge he also gains hp i'm not sure but I i've seen that on the clip also so yeah, he does recover HP, uh, has, uh, you know, capture speed. Obviously, that's good. Re reduce damage reduction. That's also good. I didn't know that. We learn um, something new every single day, I guess. But yeah, Ryong Rayleigh, he's going to be my number four for blues. All right. So my f uh, fifth blue is going to be Luffy. All right. So Luffy, this man, it's been a minute since he came out, but this man is still goaded bro no cap this anti-heal is really helpful against defenders and even attackers you know like say like uh, a kainu I mean, who's the attacker that heals like crazy you can say roger also you know overall anti-heal is really nice this shambles is also nice but sometimes it glitches out like when you pull them you don't hit them for some reason is you know it's opbr so we're used to the glitches but yeah it's really you know, those skills are freaking goaded uh overall luffy he's really nice he's still um what's it called he's still meta one of the best blues in my opinion of course uh top def uh, top attackers so you know uh what's it called the anti heal really nice so so yeah overall luffy is very clean you know one of the best blue attacker uh, beside young dofi yeah i think that's it for my blue list all right so we're gonna be starting my green all right uh for number one obviously we have king of the pirates roger you know no brainer so this man's was a freaking total menace when he came out one shot at everything but up to now he's still good you know obviously there's a kainu and all that kid but uh kainu is the biggest problem for him obviously but skill one kamusari just one shots the hell out of you long range air attack freaking we all know about this we also have nightmare about it skill two is really crazy you just hold this then say like somebody attacks you then you you're basically getting buffed on that and you gain like a lot of HP also after the skill is done. Uh, but on skill two, like say like uh, General Frankie uses skill two and you get knocked back. It's basically you can get if you get knocked back the skill like you're not gonna hit the skill basically. 
Rodgers. But overall, bro, Rodgers is still crazy. Do not sleep on this man, bro. He is still he's a menace to every single boo blues, bro. I'm not I'm not even capping. But yeah, this freaking traits are still good. Attacking enemy with skill by increase attack by 20%, increase up to 100 percent by reset one KO. That's still nice. Uh, what's what's the other thing, bro? There was something else, man. I was, but I forgot. But overall, bro, Roger is still freaking OP. Broken, like if there's no Akainu on the game, bro, he's going crazy. I'm telling you right now, he's going crazy. But yeah, that's my number one for greens. All right, for my number two for greens, I have Onigashima Luffy, the man himself. All right, so you know skill. I mean, what do I need to say about this man? skill skill wise uh skill one is very very useful for knockbacks you know uh for aka roger damn there's a lo lot of roger uh, examples bro but yeah it's really nice for uh, knockbacks skill two is where the um, main part is right skill two this skill two is just basically built stupid it's just built different also like uh this is bunch of he just throws out a bunch of punches and shit and you can't dodge even if you dodge bro you're still getting hit bro you're still getting hit so skill two is just built different uh overall as a this man's like a freaking runner attacker defender all that shit man he's a hybrid hybrid but yeah for my that's my number two for greens Right for my number three, I have Kozuki Odin, uh, aka the best runner in the game. Still, uh, this man's is nuts. Still, man, like I mean, obviously it hasn't been that long since they came out with uh, Russ. Obviously, Odin came with Roger, but bruh, Odin is still the best runner. It doesn't matter. But Akainu does shaft him, of course, because he's red and Odin is green. But skill one, uh, Odin two sword style gone Wilduki is still freaking crazy you're right uh with, i think that's the one where it gets the speed boost yeah that if you use skill one you get like a speed boost to mid uh skill two uh paradise totska is also very nice uh damn i'm using very nice like freaking a lot right it is what it is my favorite word all right so uh skill two skill two you know it does have a attack but it's a long range also so you gotta watch out for this bro you gotta watch out back in the day when he came out bro i was like what the hell man how is he still getting me but that's sh the thing about over is like when once he gets the treasure bro if you don't have a knockback move like a knockback skill you're basically he's basically getting the treasure in your face you can't do nothing about it uh, and he has the one hp uh trait left you know one hp uh before he dies uh but overall odin is still the one of the best runner in the game no one has replaced him yet maybe someday we, uh he will be replaced but but for but for right now he's not he's still best runner and number uh number three for greens for number four i have a row be the step up unit uh for greens i really haven't seen like that many because you know of course the uh, kainus are going crazy in this meta aka the red red akainu you know i mean they're both akainus red but the ex but yeah like roby c is bro the why i put her in like top five for greens is basically her cap speed bro she is a demon bro she is a freaking demon of capping speed i mean uh getting capturing the treasure man like she's a goddamn demon especially on certain maps like say like um what's it called uh what's that stage bro not barate you know it was something else it's like uh, i forgot the name but on certain stage bro you gotta watch out for her because in an instant bro it's a fireball she's a freaking demon with the capture speed like it's really crazy skill skill wise it's okay it's not that crazy uh which i think skill too i think this is a knockback uh one of, one of her skills like does a little knockback it's pretty in clutch so like you can knock back the opponent and get the treasure like she basically brings out a clone and yeah those freaking uh capturing speed is crazy bro like this is nuts yeah, spawns a clone when you capture a treasure and the clone also guards the treasure like fills up the gauge But yeah, she's gonna be a number four for greens, you know, not bad
Right, for my final number five for greens is gonna be the old Rayleigh. So for greens, as I said before, there are not that many like crazy characters I've seen and not like that many being used. I still see somewhat you know uh, this old Rayleigh being used, you know, and because people love Rayleigh that also and uh the perfect dodge, you know, if you're good at perfect dodge, bro, this is your man's right here. And if you love greens and you're good at perfect dodge, this is your perfect this is the perfect man for you right here, man. But skill wise, uh the Dark King, this one is very nice also. Uh the skill two skill two is also pretty good, but Against a, I mean, against a Kainu, man, like, the instant rate is gonna kick your butt, like, basically. But that's with almost every unit, so we can't do nothing much about that. But this old man is still, you know, still doing good. It's not that bad, like, if you fight a blue, I'm pretty sure, you, I mean, you're gonna do good because you have color advantage, but overall, he's still good. I mean, I'm somewhat decent with Rayleigh, in my opinion, right? I don't know. <laughs> uh, but perfect dodge for this like his perfect dodge i like it because you can perfect dodge and you can combo it like you can use your skill or your normals you know so it's really nice on him so that was my number five for green all right guys so let me know what you think about my top five uh units for every single color right uh but i did use the word uh good good a lot like when i was editing i peeped like i used the word good so many times yeah but you know it is what it is you know so but let me know what you think about the my top five units right for every color then i have a giveaway if you want to enter uh i'll put a description now i'll put a link in the description so you know make sure make sure to enter for a young rayleigh levels uh level 90 uh that will be i'll be ending that giveaways very soon you know but i think that's it for this video and let me know what you think about the list if you agree disagree any comments just leave them down there and i'll read them you know see you in the next one peace